A couple of weeks ago, Alana Outlet and myself issued you the Scrap Epic Lockdown Edition Challenge. And today I thought it'd be fun to pull some fabric from my stash, open up this bag of fabric that I got in the post, and talk about the project that I'm going to be doing for the challenge. G'day everyone, welcome back to another Catch Up with Kirillie, another PJ edition because I am so tired because I am not actually locked in my house as such. I am considered an essential worker, so I have been working quite long hours at my normal nine to five job and um, it's, 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 it's crazy. Yeah, uh, but that's okay because we're here to discuss, to discuss fun things uh, and that fun thing is the Scrap Epic Challenge and uh, yeah, just ignore the fact that I have no makeup. So first and foremost, what am I doing for the Scrap Epic Challenge? Well, I am doing a 18th century inspired Jigglypuff. I don't know why, but in my head, I have always imagined like if Jigglypuff was some kind of human form, it would be like Kalotta from Phantom of the Opera. And I think ever since seeing Kalotta in the pink dress in the film, I've just kind of associated that with Jigglypuff. So I'm going to be making a version something around that inspiration. But I am keeping things pretty laid back. I'm not putting any pressure on myself to like draft everything from scratch. Uh, I have got some help. So I've got these two patterns by Simplicity slash American Duchess. Uh, so we've got the undergarments 8579 and the outer dress of 8578, the sack pack dress. Um, I refer to it online as its French name, but I butcher French whenever I try to speak it and I'm too tired to try. I'm sorry. <laughs> also to help me out, I have actually bought the American Duchess's Guide to 18th Century Dressmaking because I was told by Sarah Obra, I believe is the Instagram page name and cosplayer. She suggested these patterns and also this book to kind of help me on this journey because she recently did the most amazing Bulbasaur. Go check out her page. I'll link her down below. Okay. So I haven't got like a drawn up picture of what this is going to look like in the end because I wanted to kind of pull fabric from my stash, play around with it and see what works. And honestly, if history has taught me anything, this is going to develop and change over time. So this is obviously just the preliminary kind of uh, pulling of fabric. But before we do that, it's time to open up this package, which is from Remnants Warehouse in New South Wales. I ordered it uh, and so I didn't leave my home, so I'm not breaking any of the rules. And not all the fabric that I need is in here. Obviously, this is just because they were having a sale and I had my eye on these fabrics anyway. So even if I wasn't going to make Jigglypuff, I was probably going to buy it. Yeah. Let's open it up and see if I can actually use it for Jigglypuff. Oh, no. Oh, I thought I cut fabric. It's okay. They just double wrapped it. But they wrapped it up in pink. And my fabric is pink and that got me scared. Ah, so wrapped up with a little sticker. So sweet. Alright. Oh. 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 Alright. Oh. Okay. So let's start off with the trim because it's not going to be used for Jigglypuff, uh, but I really quite like it. So it is this organza ribbon with a center of suede. Uh, I have no idea what I'm going to use it for, but I thought it was really, really sweet and uh, a little bit maybe edgy. I don't know, but I liked it and it was $15 for 50 meters. So I was happy. Now it's onto the fabric. So these are two different types of silk. There is a silk twill and there's a silk organza. So the silk organza is this and it's really, really lovely. It's a little bit more purple than what it looked like in the pictures. Uh, it looked really, really pink in the pictures, but it's actually, it's actually very, very purple almost. So I don't think I can use this for Jigglypuff, but it's still really, really pretty. And I have had my eye on this for yonks. Uh, as soon as it came online, I was like, oh, I need this in my life. 
And then I just waited and waited and waited, waited for the sale. And uh, then I bought it. So now it is in my stash. So um, yes, yes, you can go up there. And then the last fabric that I bought, which I bought, uh, I think it was 10 meters of, is this silk twill. And it's really pretty. Um, it doesn't feel like the silks that I've got, which is fine because it's twill and not Gipioni, which is what I normally use. Um, but it's, it's very, very lovely. It's got a nice kind of texture to it. So this is what it is. It is not that translucent, which is good because I was a little bit worried about that as per the photos. Uh, but yeah, that's that's quite nice. I might be able to use that with Jigglypuff. It might be a little bit dark though. I'm not sure. We'll see. We'll pull the other fabric and then we'll see. But yes, so those are my three fabric slash trims that I got from Remnant Warehouse. Um, yeah, I was just happy to have those in my collection. So yay. All right. So now the fun begins. You can join me as I pull fabrics and then we'll have a discussion about the fabrics that I pulled. Yes, let's do it. Okay, that was fun and I currently have a pile of fabrics to my side here and I thought we'd go through them. So first and foremost, I ood and odd about this one and I just looking at the other fabrics that I've pulled I just think it's too dark so right away this wonderful silk twill that I got from Remnants Warehouse is going back into the stash so let's talk about the main fabric first of course she's gonna be pink so I actually have this entire roll of fail yeah, let's say fail. F A I L L E. Fall, fail. Oh. Hey, this could be a hard fail. Who knows? All right. Terrible puns. All right, I'm tired. Please don't judge me any more than I'm judging myself. All right, so I have this because I made CL. Uh, the Robin dress and I ordered way 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 too much so I have well and truly uh, I'd say 10 meters on here so this is going to be the base of my dress it's nice and light and it will flow quite nicely of course it's not silk it's not cotton it's none of the historically accurate uh, materials but it's what I have and that's what Scrap Epic is all about so I think I'm going to use this for mm, the bulk of my uh, creation and I think it will still work out quite nicely quite nicely all right so moving on I also picked out some fabrics in pink and then in blue which I thought would work quite nicely and the thing about the blue with Jigglypuff, I know, because I have looked at so many pictures of Jigglypuff and compared like my backpack, which is Jigglypuff and all the plushies, which are Jigglypuff that I own. Um, the eye color goes between like a normal blue and like a tealy blue. And I've decided that I'm going to make mine as the normal blue, the original. I'm pretty sure it was the original color. So that's what we're doing. And the cool thing, as I have this brocade, uh, which I believe was my grandmother's. It's probably older than me. And it is this wonderful pink with some like white and then the, the right color blue. So I think I'm going to turn this into some kind of trim or bows or something. There's not a lot of it. I think there's only like a meter of it, but I am super, super excited to incorporate this somehow other than that in terms of pinks i also have this beautiful uh organza or chiffon i'm gonna say chiffon uh with some metal threads running through it it's super light super breezy 
Uh, and it's just really, really pretty. And I've had it in my stash for a while. I don't know where I got it from. <laughs> like so many of my fabrics I'm like where did this come from I don't know oh well uh I think it was probably given to me this is not something I would normally buy for myself uh but I really like it and hopefully I will get to use her once again probably as a trim or a ruffle or something I don't know I think I've got about two meters of her so that's fun I also have this one and I think this one might be a little bit to peach but i'm gonna include her just in case it's an off cut it looks like it well actually i think it is a old dress that my nan made and then never completed but i will say that it has the front pieces intact and then it's got two like back pieces which i can kind of put together i think but it's got this really lovely metallic embroidery on it and i'm just thinking Maybe I can make this work. So I love about Scrap Epic. You just, you try and make it work. Who knows? But I'm thinking I might put this uh, maybe on the petticoat or something along those lines. We'll see. We'll see if we can incorporate it. Uh, speaking of petticoats, I have pulled this crepe, which is like a whitey, very light pink. And that's just in case... I don't have enough fabric of the fail um, or if I just want to have a bit of contrast I might use this as the base for the petticoat so um, yeah it's really lovely it's a bit heavier which is why I don't really want to incorporate it into like the mane of the dress but it could really be nice for the petticoat and also for the stomacher then we kind of move on so I also have this pink lace but I also have it funnily enough in blue as well it's the exact same lace now I'm not sure how I feel about these but I thought it was kind of cool that I've got the same lace in the two colors that I need like the exact colors that I need so I might actually play around with like maybe the sleeves and maybe a little bit of lace detailing um, out of these two we'll see I feel like that's all I'm saying we'll see we'll see uh, I also have this cool uh, little, little piece of blue. I don't even know what fabric this is. Is it lame? I don't know, but it's cool. It's once again from my nan. So once again, probably older than myself. And yeah, it's about a meter of that as well. She just had like random cuts of like a meter fabric. Little old nannies. So cute. So... I thought that was really, really nice. Maybe I can use it. Maybe I can incorporate it. It goes well with the other blues and just has a really nice like embossed kind of feature to it. So, but I have got the gold and I don't know if you can use gold and silver together. I don't know. Maybe it's fine because Jigglypuff is just kind of all over the place. Yeah, maybe I'll use that as my argument. Hmm. We'll see. All right. And last but not least, I also pulled this silk Jupirini that I have, uh, which is what I use to make my Cinderella dress. I've got a whole stack of it. And I thought it would be nice to have the right kind of blue in just a wad of a particular fabric that has a nice kind of texture to it, just in case like I need to make a whole lot of ruffles. And let's be honest, I'm probably gonna make a whole lot of ruffles. This, this is the project that allows me to make as many ruffles as I like. So I'm excited by this. So other than that, I also pulled a few trims that I knew I had. I also have a whole lot of white lace, which depending on how these laces look, like if they look cheap and nasty, then I'll probably end up using white lace. Um, but I also have a lot of trims that I pulled as well. And I'll show you those. So the first one is this really thin, beautiful, metallic kind of weave, which is just really, really nice. I've had it for a while. My friend Shakoi gave it to me and I would be really keen to maybe use this as like a central line or something just to kind of make something pop. Could be fun. Could be fun. You never know. And then also from my French Koi, she gave me these beautiful, beautiful trims uh, of these tiny little flowers in blue and pink. They're the same trim, 
once again it's like fate coming together so maybe i can incorporate these as well because the 18th century there was a lot of flower motives on dresses and just in general so maybe i can get away with it then second to last i also have some of these blue little like gems there's five of them and they're from alicia alicia estelle uh, it was part of my secret santa present and the blue goes really quite nicely with the other blues that i have it's a bit darker but they are really lovely and they catch the light really nicely so maybe these will be like centers of bows or like centers of a design i'm not sure i've got five of them could be fun and last but certainly not least i have a whole lot of rhinestones i have so many rhinestones it's left over from flora because we overestimated how many rhinestones we would need and basically jigglypuff is a good candidate for rhinestones because she likes being larger than life so although completely not historically accurate at all uh it will be fun and i hope that i can incorporate that anyway guys those are the fabrics that i have pulled i will be using i will be enjoying uh and i should also mention that i have actually started uh i haven't just like left it to like you know I, here I am two weeks into it and I haven't started. I have actually started. I have made the pocket hoops. I'm about to start the mock-up of the dress. And uh, yeah, and then I will be able to start figuring out how I'm going to be using these fabrics. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for joining me on this journey. I hope that you are going to enter also the Scrap Epic Challenge. If you are, let me know what you're doing in the comments below. And I'll speak to you all next time. Bye!